In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the reporting capabilities of the Clover device. These are native reporting capabilities, um, but we're also going to add some fees and just see how those uh, fees are reflected in the reports. Now, to trigger the fees, we're going to use an app called Advanced Fees. We're going to start a fee and we'll call it, uh, and we'll call it, uh, bottle surcharge all right and let's say that it's going to be amount and it's going to be 25 cents okay and it's going to be item specific and let's go to our non-alcoholic beverages which is basically coke and save all right so we have our fee and it's 25 cents so now we're going to open the register app and begin transacting because you know we're getting to reports right so we're going to navigate to non-alcoholic beverages go into coke there's the bottle surcharge fee and because the fee is added on top it gets taxed on the bottom okay and so we go to pay and we pay Receipt is printed, and that's done. Now let's navigate to reports and see what's what. All right, so here's our reporting, and let me just grab this receipt real quick. That'll be the last one. All right, so all right, here is that receipt and it shows the bottle surcharge fee right there. Uh, now, where does it show here? Uh, basically, the way the reports work is you have sales overview, you have reports by employees, you have reports by items, you have reports by discounts and taxes. All right, so let's go into items. All right. Uh, there it is. Okay. And, and our charge char our fee shows up right here on the under bottle surcharge. There it is. So that's how it shows up um, if an advanced fee was used and, and the tax was applied on top of the fee. Alright. Now let's go ahead and um, actually, let's just disable this. Stop. All right, so we're going to disable this for a minute. And we're going to native uh, setup, uh, taxes and fees. And actually, you know what, let's go to the inventory. And let's grab this Coke that we were playing around with. I believe it's this one and let me show you so right now it's all set to default but let's go ahead and set it to custom and let's call and let's add a fee a and fee b so um a dollar for fee one and two dollars for second fee uh, a and b all right and so we're going to save that oh you know what let's go ahead and add some taxes as well uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit sales tax for San Diego. All right. So there's there. So two fees and a tax on a single item. All right. Now we're going to go to register. We're going to Coke. There it is. Okay. So. Oh, and. Uh, let me see. Where's the fee added? I don't see the fee being added. Hold on. Oh, we probably don't have the right Coke. There were two in there. Let's see. Coke. Search. Uh, three in there. All right, let's try this one. Nope. Oh, yeah. Taxes and fees. That one. So, you see how there's a whole bunch of uh, taxes and fees in there. Uh, but they're separate. And so, now let's go ahead and hit pay. Pay cash. You know, we got our receipt. Let's see what that looks like. And on the receipt, 
there is no um, yeah there is there's a breakdown fee a and fee B uh, there it is it's underneath it's outside of the tax right so the tax amount is does not include the fee that's the second option and let's just see how that shows on the report uh, for contrast all right so let me just open the reporting and let me go to items and let's just see what we see here uh, there's our coke all right um, let's go to sales overview and let's see if it made it there mm -hmm. nope taxes all right there it is so the second option goes into taxes and that's where you can see fee a fee b and tax uh, so everything is in the reports and all of these things can be printed so that's how reporting uh, is affected on the fees and i've shown the option with the advanced fees and the option with just the native clover okay